All right, everybody. Welcome back to Ma Pop Sports. This is Grandy. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, appreciate you guys checking out the channel and the video. If you guys are returning, welcome back. Uh, as you guys can see, I am not in my typical office space or my home office. I'm out on the road, as I was mentioning previously. Uh, I'm on vacation with the kids, taking them on spring break. We're just kind of on the road today. Uh, and I figured I, I, I'd do a quick video and kind of say hi. And hopefully everybody is grinding away and, and, and making card sales. So, uh, as I mentioned, I, I want to talk a little bit about sales. So this is the, uh, I don't know if this is going to be something some like, some appreciate, some don't appreciate, but let's talk about eBay sales or people, or in general, it doesn't even matter, like sports cards in general, um, people who back out, don't pay, non-payers, things like that. Um, it sucks. It's shitty. I totally understand it. I totally get it. Uh, a lot of people in the industry hate the the people who back out of you know deals or people who don't pay on eBay and everything. Uh, I completely understand that. Um, it it's one of those things where you think you got a sale or you are ready to package and ship stuff, and then somebody cancels the order, doesn't pay. Or if you're, you know, at a deal, you know, at a show, and you, you think you got a, a verbal deal, and it, it doesn't go through, or people back out. Um, the one thing I, I I I want to tell people who are selling sports cards, the best way to 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 conquer this is to not take it personal. Uh, I learned that if somebody cancels an order on me which has happened quite a bit and it just actually happened to me uh, as I was driving here somebody did not pay and they wanted to cancel the order I don't take it personal because this is one of the things is I don't want them to get the buyer's remorse and then you're gonna deal with somebody who doesn't want the item who gets upset who wants a refund um, or or could technically lie and say that you know the item and a car was damaged um, you know, it's one of those things, people have a right to change their mind. You know, um, I go into that thinking that way. As much as it, it bugs me, don't get me wrong, it bugs me just as it does anybody else. You have to go into that mindset. You can't take it personal and it's okay for people to change their minds. Um, I know a lot of people are like, well, that's bullshit. I'll just block them. You, that's your right. You can definitely do that. Uh, however, to me, what I'm, you know, when I'm doing this and what I've learned to not take it personal is that. I'm a happier person, so I don't get angry if somebody cancels the order. Uh, like I said, they have a right to change their mind. If they don't want to follow through with the deal or they don't want to purchase the card or the item, it's okay. It's not going to be the end of the world. There's going to be somebody else who's going to want that item. That's the way I look at it. And if you look at it that way, you'll have a more positive aspect of this industry, this hobby and the business side. Um, because at the beginning, I was just like everybody else, like this is bullshit, we had a deal, or you bought the item, you know, somebody else could have bought that item, I accepted your offer, I totally get that, I've done that, um, and it and it really does bug me, but I found that I was getting myself into a more negative mood uh, when it comes to feeling that way, so once I changed my mindset of not taking it personal, and then on top of that, understanding that it's okay, just move on to the next person, move on to the next sale. Um, you'll find yourself in a more positive attitude and I was able to grind more and make it worth it. And you'll find that one sale that it was well worth it if you wait for it or somebody who's gonna pay for it, all that stuff. So the negativity, if you can cut that out, will help your day-to-day -day, um, operations. At least I, I felt that way because like I said, um, I was just like everybody else. That It really does annoy me when somebody cancels or who wants a refund or backs out of a deal. That's that, Technically, that's what it is. It's backing out of a deal. Um, but you have to understand, I'm pretty sure people have done this when you're purchasing a vehicle or a car, a brand new car or whatever you're purchasing, you're like, ah, maybe I shouldn't buy this or I don't want to buy it now. You change your mind. Uh, it may have happened or you go, you go to a store and you, you're going to buy something and then you change your mind. It happens all the time. So it's one of those things where don't take it personal in my eyes is definitely the best bet uh, to keep that positive mindset. That's, that's what I always recommend.
Uh, one last thing, uh, make sure you don't, uh, I guess you can say give in to on sales to people who give like low ball offers, whatever the case may be. Uh, there was a guy who, or gal, I don't know, they were just giving me some low ball offers. So really value whatever inventory and cards you have um, and just trust have trust that that value of that car that you believe uh, will sell for whatever you are thinking it's gonna go for so I highly recommend that and the reason I say that is because as I was mentioned I was getting some mobile offers but by holding off and just believing the value of the card um, it actually sold for pretty much what I asked for and a guy I actually rebuttaled him you know I think it was like about 10 to 15 percent off uh, and he was still trying to or she was still trying to lowball me and uh, at the end of the day I just felt I I believed in the value of the uh, of the item itself so it sold for what I asked for and I was grateful and the person who actually purchased the the card uh, was truly happy with it so there you guys go so make sure my other suggestion is just if you believe in the value of a specific card uh, if you also believe that it's gonna sell for whatever value or whatever the comps that at you don't have to give into the low ball offer so I highly recommend if you can on that so there you guys go those are two tips of the day try to stay upbeat be positive guys understand it's just the business at the end of the day some people are gonna like I just said either cancel or have buyers remorse or whatever the case may be don't 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 take it too harsh um, it is what it is so move on to the next person next customer and they will sell and then on top of that as I just mentioned um, also hold hold value to your car you know believe in it that if, if, if it's gonna sell for a certain uh, price point try to you know be as close as possible and just believe in what you believe in when you purchase the you know the car itself um, and the value itself on that end so other than that man if you guys like stuff like this you guys like videos like this feel free to subscribe Yes, we. Hey, there we go. We're, we're still working on it. Uh, when we get back from our uh, spring break vacation, uh, we'll work on some type of a giveaway, right, bud? Yes. There you guys go. And then if you have not subscribed, you guys are missing out. But it's all good, man. At least I uh, appreciate you guys watching video all the way through this end. Um, other than that, have a good rest of the week. Till next time, guys. And go Kaylin Clark on Saturday. Go Kaylin Clark. Go Hawks, baby. Mm -hmm.